Professor Buckley, would you stand up just for one second? Of course. In 2005, 
He was enabled to transfer his chair to Anglia Ruskin University in Cambridge, a post he still holds. Uh, in an emeritus capacity as Professor of Medicine. In 2019, he was appointed an honorary visiting professor at City University of London, formerly City University. In government work, Roger was a member of the Committee on Dental and Surgical Materials and chairman of its subcommittee on ophthalmic products. He was a co-opted member of the Committee on Safety in Medicine now the Commission on Human Medicines. In this way, he has had a huge impact on the safety of the public through the regulation of drugs and contact lens solutions. When in 1999, an announcement by the Department of Health threatened the continued use of diagnostic contact lenses and instruments that touch the ocular surface on account of a remote theoretical risk of the transmission of variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, it was clear that a rigorous rationalization was needed. At subsequent meetings with the departments, Roger represented the Royal College of Ophthalmologists, Moorfields Eye Hospital, and the General Optical Council. Protocols for the reuse of lenses and instruments were eventually agreed by all parties, and Roger's detailed research helped to allay fears and reassure the public. Roger was a co-opted member of the Professional Standards Committee of our college and served as the college's contact lens advisor. He is a past president of the British Contact Lens Association, a past president of the Medical Contact Lens Association, and a former vice president of the International Society for Contact Lens Research. He is president of the Keratoconus Group, a patient-led self-help organization. He was a founding member of the Executive Committee of Allergy UK, formerly the British Allergic, Allergy Foundation, and is currently patron and member of its Health Advisory Panel. His name currently appears on several international editorial boards, and he acts as peer reviewer for a dozen scientific publications. For 20 years, he was an honorary medical advisor to the uh, British National Formulary, BNF. In reflection uh, of his passion for music, Roger was honorary medical advisor to the Musicians Benevolent Fund, the Royal Society of Musicians, and the British Performing Arts Medicine Trust. Four years ago, he realized a long and dearly held ambition, which was to complete a doctorate in musicology. At City, University of London, Roger lectures regularly on courses held for training of prescribing optometrists. At Imperial College London, he contributes regularly to the MSc course on allergy. As you would expect, he has acted as external examiner to the degree course of other universities and has supervised and examined a large number of higher degrees. So, some reflections, in my opinion, and that of many senior figures uh, in ophthalmology, Professor Roger Buckley uh, more than meets many of the uh, conditions necessary for being made an honorary fellow of our college. In a highly distinguished career, over 50 years, he has demonstrated exemplary service and certainly changed things for the better. He has, for example, contributed to an improved relationship between the professions of ophthalmology, optometry, and dispensing opticians through his work for the TOC. He played a significant part in securing independent prescribing rights for appropriately qualified optometrists. Roger was therefore well ahead of time as we now talk about new ways of working uh, involving optometrists, ophthalmic nurses, optometrists, ophthalmic technicians to help expand capacity for ever increasing demand. Roger has also contributed through various government committees to the safety of the public through the regulation of drugs and contact lens solutions. He promoted the understanding of cross-infection, including that caused by dangerous pathogens in the practice of eye health care. He promoted, through sustained service to the committees of the British Contact Lens Association, an understanding on the over, of the overwhelming importance of safety over commercial interests. 
He has undertaken most of this work on professional medical organizations and government committees on a voluntary basis, dedicating thousands of hours work uh, to the for the benefit of patients uh, beyond his hospital positions. Mr. President, uh, I present to you Professor Roger Buckley.